Hi, I'm George, and we're going to be making this animated title here inside of Videoproc Logger. There you go, some fancy special effects on there. I'll let this thing run for 10 seconds just for this opening little bit. We'll make it shorter for the video. There we go, kind of fades out like that. Okay, pretty easy to do, but it requires a few special tricks to make this thing work. Okay, we'll start off by making a brand new project. So I'll go up here to the menu and click on New Project, and click on the New Project button. I'll leave all these at their defaults. Let's just change the name up here to animated title. And I'll call it animated title dog because we have a dog in our video. I'll leave everything else the same. Right now I'm setting this at 1080p, which is the default for YouTube, and frame rate at 30 and choose new project. And here we go. We now need to bring in just a couple of items. We first need to have our video for in behind the title. So click on this plus sign and import your video. And I'm using one here, it's just called beach. It's a picture of a beach with some waves and a dog running out of the waves. And we'll choose open for that, there we go. And we also need to have a picture in here. Click on the picture button. And I have this bright green color picture right here, which we'll be using as a green screen. Now you can get all five of these. I have these in one zip file, and I'll put a link for that in the description if you want to download that zip with all these different basic background colors, black, standard chroma key blue, bright green, standard chroma key green, and a white screen. I want the bright green for this one, choose open. There we go. Okay, that's all the pieces that we need to start off with. And I'll bring down the video here to our video track like that. And let's stretch out our timeline. There we go, it was a bit easier to see. And I'm going to pull this back to five seconds. We're making this as a five second opening title piece. Just like that, we can bring our timeline further out if you want to. That's good. And now let's bring down the green screen as well. This comes onto the overlay track right down here. You don't want it in front of the video track, you want it in the overlay track. Notice how it doesn't fit, so we need to fix that. Over here, right hand side, and go clear to the top. There's the top of the right hand side. If you scroll down, you'll come down to the transform section right here, and click fit screen width, and there we go. That's now in place. And let's just hide that. And let's now set up the text for this. And that's the text button, which is right here. Click on that, brings up a text section. Notice how the text comes in at the current position for your pointer here, for your playhead. Just slide that back to the beginning, and it should be at about five seconds already. That's the default size, and that is, that fits perfectly. Okay, now on the text, if you click into the text like this, you can actually put an insertion point in here and select your text right here, or over on the right-hand side, you can do the same thing right over here in the text section. I'll just do it right here. Just click into here and put an insertion point. I'll select all of that. I'm just calling this one happy dog. There we go. And now let's set our different type settings. This is the default type setting in here. I'm going to change the happy dog here. I'll select over here on the right hand side like that. And let's change the typeface. Choose any typeface you like. If I have typefaces that are thicker like this one here or the Cooper Black or the Iris Bold ITC, that's what we'll be using right here, work out better as titles. Now it's kind of weird as you can see. So I'm going to grab this box. You can change the size of the box by pulling the box around. And you can also change the size of your type by doing that. Let me stretch the box this way, get our dog to fit completely. Let's go back over to the right hand side where it says alignment. Click on the center one, that just centers the text inside of your text box. Now I want to have this at a specific size. So I'll select that and then let's type in 250 over here on the right hand side. Hit the enter key to set that in place. And again, let's stretch this out until we see that dog fitting properly and we'll stretch it down as well there we go so there's our nice happy dog text I'm just center it in the screen i'm just eyeballing this there's nothing to align that to so i'm just kind of eyeballing it to the center and that's about right at this point if you want to adjust the drop shadow on that you can do that as well let's just scroll down a little bit down here there's a text shadow i'll make mine going down to the bottom right corner which is right down here i think that looks pretty good you can adjust the offset right here. I'm going to pull it in a little ways, so it's about 12, I think. That looks just fine. Okay, so there's the basic text for this. If I hit our play button, you'll see the text just sits there on top of that video. And that's good for right now. Now we need to add some animation onto this text. We're doing two levels of animation. One we're doing here, and a second one we're doing later on as a separate piece. So let's go up here where it says animation. And if I scroll up, you can see that's right down there. And we're doing a move in and a move out. Move in, we're doing the oval two. The default here is two seconds, that's fine. And move out, also the oval two. I'll leave that default at two seconds as well. If I now play this, you'll see how that works. It 
does that little bit here and after the five seconds it goes back out again okay that's all looking perfect that's all we have to do at this point we now need to save this out as a different file so for that let's just scroll up a little bit here on our timeline i'm going to show that green screen again and let's hide the video layer bring your playhead back any place in here so you can see that so you should be seeing this you should be seeing the green in the background and your text in front of that green screen we now need to save this out as a new video file and that's the export button right over here click on export there's our current title i'm going to change the title here and just make this say text that's our little text piece and I'm going into the same folder where I'm building my project. I'll use the MP4 file format. And then on the right hand side, let's set this at high quality engine lossless mode. I don't want to have any image quality lost on this particular step. So that's all good. Everything else is okay. Click on start. This will go real fast. It's just a little five second piece. So it's a real fast export for this. And there we go. That's done. And there's our new video piece right there. Okay, we're back here again. Now, hide that green screen again and hide your text again. We're done with those two things. Let's show our video again, and I'll stretch this back out. It was about 10 seconds, 12 seconds long. There it is. Okay, it's back. And let's go back to our beginning in here, which is right down there. And let's import our new video. So click on Add Video. And there we go. There is that new video that we just exported. Choose Open. And it comes in up here. Let's now come down to the overlay track, show your overlay track. If you want to, you can just delete this green background or you can keep it in here so you can play with this a little bit. I'll do that. I'm going to make a new track. Click on the plus sign right here. It makes a new overlay track, which is right here. I'll hide that green screen track. And on this new overlay track, let's pull down this animated text and put it right into that spot. And then just like before, let's scroll down until we get down to the transform section and fit to width. Now the dog is in here, the dog title. If I click in the middle someplace, you can see there's the happy dog title. All right, so that's just fine. Let's just double check this. Hit the play from the start button. We'll see how that works. There we go, looks good. Goes for five seconds and then goes back out again. And that's great. Okay, now we need to get rid of this green background. And that's over here, right hand side again. And scroll down until you get down here and you'll find a section called chroma key. Just click on enabled and that green should go away. And there's our text on top of our background again, just like we had before. So at this point, everything looks the same, but the whole reason for saving this out as a video clip is because we can put effects onto the video clip. You can't put effects like this onto type layers, but you can put them onto video layers. So let's go up here to effects. And most of these effects won't work. They won't do anything for you at all. Some do, some don't, most of them won't, but some are kind of interesting. And we'll be using the color glitch right over here. Just drag this down. It's going to go on to the effect track right there. It should already be five seconds because that's our default and that is correct. Notice how it's applying an effect to our whole image. We don't want that. So over here, right hand side, I'm just going to collapse the time and duration there. Get that out of the way. Down here, it says scope, uncheck canvas, and then check the name of the video track. That is our green screen. And that's this one, the animated title dog text. Now, if I play from the beginning, You'll see we now have this fancy effect just on the text. Play that. There we go. And that's how to do one of those fancy effect titles. Check out my playlist for more video proc vlogger videos, and I'll see you next time.